just get right into it. Input display is in the bottom left, has all the inputs labeled. Check it out. So as soon as the run starts, just hit enter a few times to skip the first cutscene. And hold jump and eject, as that is the input for fast text, and it'll skip all the text on the first frame possible. Um, as soon as this dialogue is over, you want to get out of the water if you can, and then jump over. This first part, or for all the strats I show, they're always, they're going to be my specific strats. There's plenty of different ways to do each room. What I do is walk off and then do something called a, a ledge drop, which is just when you, you move over a ledge a certain way, you'll fall really fast. It's kind of hard to do, but it's whatever. You just drop down here for this room and move on. So in cat form, you always want to be in the air if you can. You move 20% faster in the air. This does not apply when you're a mech though, only when you're a cat. So we skip through this dialogue. In this next room, I'll show you, you do not want to spam your shots on these guys because if you shoot too fast close together, they actually won't take damage from the shot, from the next shot. You'll like skip damage every other shot. So you want to do it in a really fast three shot rhythm. You see it was, actually did it too fast there, so. Something like that, you can do it a little faster. Then you just leave, go up all these platforms. And then in this room, the way water works is like, the direction it bounces you is kind of pixel perfect. Really, you just have to find a good spot to jump in this specific uh, trick here. The water doesn't really matter anywhere else in the run. Uh, I jump as late as I can off of this platform. And if you do it right, you get two good boosts forward. I didn't do it right there, that was actually kind of slow. But that's okay, you'll figure that one out. Either way, you're not gonna lose much time. Jump over this flower. And then damage boost through these frogs. And now this is the first small mech. And small mech is a frame perfect trick that pretty much it just gives you your cat hitbox while you're in your mech form which breaks up multiple things in the game and it lets you skip cutscene triggers and it lets you fit into spaces you normally couldn't with your mech, which we'll see later on in the run. Uh, the way it works is you jump on a save point, get out of your mech, and then just all you have to do is just jump off and you'll slide back into your mech. At the same time, the game's gonna try and give you like another mech, but basically you eject on a certain frame, which I did not get, it's really obvious when you get it. There we go. So now I have small mech. You're completely invisible until you transition. It's it's very obvious you got it. It's just an empty mech there. And you can see that our feet are like in the ground when we jump, our head goes into the ceiling. This All of this becomes relevant later on. Uh, we don't even have an arm for our cannon thing. And I say small mix frame perfect, it is, but there are a lot of visual cues for it, like all these moving parts up here. I use this this square combined with the audio cue and like muscle memory basically to get it. But when this thing resets back to normal, I press it. And there's something called fake mech, is what I'll call it. When you are one frame late on your small mech, and it, it just looks like you have a normal mech, but it also skips cutscene triggers. It won't make you small though. Anyway, we have small mech, we're gonna move on. And here we enter this room, there's normally a fight here. There are enemies, you can actually kill them while they're invisible, which also becomes relevant later on. But for this arena, you just wanna run through, skip it all. So you get out of your mech. Uh, also a note, when you get out of your mech, you no longer have small mech. You need a save point to get it. And as far as being a cat in water, it's pretty self-explanatory, but mass jump when you're moving upwards. That's the only way to really move faster in the water. Here I don't jump because I don't think it's actually faster to jump. But everywhere else you want to be jumping because you move faster. Pick up your rockets and then come back this way. This part, you just do kind of press jump twice in a certain cadence, and you can go up really quickly. 
for this transition, you want to jump like right before it, or pretty much as you transition, you can get over this small wall right here and right into the water. Nice jump. And then while you're going up walls with a cat too, you want to mash jump. And now that we have rockets, um, rockets when you shoot them into the wall or shoot them into the ground, they will give you a boost. It's like the main movement that we use. As soon as you get your mech, just shoot down and then destroy that wall. And then we're going to do another small mech here. You got to be careful. If you don't eject soon enough when you land on a save point, it'll lock you into the animation. So you want to make sure as soon as you get on, you're, you're pressing eject to get out. Otherwise, you're just going to waste a couple seconds. There we go, small mech. Skip this boss because we have small mech. When we enter this room, do a down boost about here. Oh, that was a little slightly too early. Here, you want to be landing right here. Jump up. And when you're destroying blocks and you're right next to them, uh, try and shoot down because otherwise you get, like when you shoot to the side, it boosts you backwards, right? So if you shoot it down, you don't get boosted backwards. And now for this one, jump up and shoot a, a rocket. So the rocket's explosion will hit this block here. And then you just destroy those two. Jump to this platform and then jump up, do a down boost and a side boost and then jump immediately. And that's how you do that room. Down boost, down boost. And now jump up to this platform, do a down boost here, two side boosts, damage boost on the frog. And then down boost, side boost, another down one, and just like that. In this next room, boost off the safe point, and then shoot a second missile down, and that'll give you enough height to get to that top platform. All right, we're at one, so we're gonna be a little careful here. Shoot a missile down as soon as you fall off that platform to get that plant. Here you do down and then up for your missiles. Delay the up missile slightly, otherwise you'll hit the ceiling and you won't get the boost down. You shoot down, shoot up, and this one you shoot down, and then wait until you're you're far enough over to destroy the block in your way with the down boost, or with the down shot. And there, a side boost off the wall gives you a really slight, slight uh, boost to the right. You can do those throughout the run, but I usually lose more time than it's worth trying them when I go for them, so. Destroy these two boxes, shoot a missile down here, and you want to land on this platform if you can. And you do two like this, fall down here, down, up, and you are in aqueducts. Be careful when you're transitioning uh, with the elevators because the, the game will accept inputs from you on the first frame that you transition when you're on an elevator, and you can eject if you're not careful. Like if you're just pressing the eject button because maybe you're preemptively pressing it for this dialogue here, uh, you will eject out of your out of your mech, so you have to be careful. So here is a trick called water mech. This is the other hard trick in the run besides small mech. And what you're doing is you're just putting your mech into the water. It's not supposed to be there, and this lets us give a bunch of stuff. Um, there's a really easy way you can set up water mech when you have small mech. You don't really have to have precise spacing, just kind of go over near the ledge here. You eject and then get back in. And when you do this, you're stuck here unless you unless you jump, which you don't want to do, don't jump. Um, as soon as you get back in your mech, press missile and then eject. Your timing doesn't have to be precise at all when you're stuck in the ground like this. You just do it like this and there you go. You are now in the water with water mech. But the way you have to do it in multiple other places when you won't have small mech, is like this so the way the trick works specifically you're shooting your missile and then you're pressing eject as your mech slides over the platform right so if you are right up next to the ledge you want your eject input to be right after your missile input because you're going to be sliding over the edge that much sooner so when you're essentially like floating in midair like i am right now you need your inputs to be almost one frame after each other so like that now you don't have to space it like that if you don't want. You can also space it something like this, and you can still get it. You just have to have the inputs be a lot more delayed between each other. Like that. Either way you do it, that that's just totally up to you. You can line up uh, however you want. The fastest way to do water mech is to just walk into the room and like big balls it and just do a running one like this. 
and that's pretty difficult to do. I don't recommend that. Especially for this first one because you have the guaranteed setup with small mech. You don't have that for the other water mechs. Alright, so for the next part, as soon as you get in your mech here, um, jump and kind of hug this platform to the bottom right of us after you jump. And then drop straight down after you touch the platform. This lets you do a really specific down shot here that destroys this block. This one block right here, um, it'll make your life easier later on if you destroy that. That's all. So, uh, one property, I should say, of being in the water is when you shoot a missile, it'll explode immediately. So, it won't travel anywhere. It'll explode instantly and just give you a boost in whatever direction that you're, you're going for. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, so after that's destroyed, just go like this, jump up against that wall that's above you, and you can drop down again without worrying about any of these platforms. Destroy this, and just drop down again. So we're going to use that water property with missiles right here. Two quick ones, two more quick ones. And then optimally you do two back boosts like that. You can just do two down boosts, it's not it's not going to be a big time loss or anything. Here, so this one uh, is actually slightly tricky to go across here without taking damage. You want to wait until you're falling again before you do your second missile. So like, like kind of like that. And the next room, just damage boost through this first guy, jump over that guy, and then do two like this, and there you go. This jump is like the worst jump in the game, IMO. At the peak of your jump, you, you shoot one missile, and then you delay the other missile slightly, and you can get up. That's the best description I can really give you for this. Um, I line up my cannon like right here on the side of the wall, and then once I'm about to touch the wall again, right there, I shoot the second missile. And this trick will just take you some practice. See, like right there I didn't make it, but it felt like everything was the same. That's just something you have to get used to. This next part, two missiles. And then here, make sure you shoot a missile down or you'll bump your head on that wall. When you transition here as a cat, don't press any buttons. The game will boost you like really high up. Like don't mash jump. Just let it boost you up like this. And then after that, you jump over the frog and then jump all the way to the right and you hug the right wall. I'll show you what I mean. Just like this, and this frog won't hit you. Jump down like this, like that, and there you go. That part's pretty scary. It's like, if you touch a frog, you die, so be careful. And all this is pretty self-explanatory. Jump into that little pipe that I just jumped into, and you'll line up to hit the lever pretty easily. One thing here, just make sure you don't position your mech too far from the door. Otherwise, you have to like wait for it to open. Um, here it's just another water mech, and that wasn't even a good attempt at all, but this is just, again, once you figure out water mech, you'll have your own preference here. Now in this room, uh, it's a really easy strat. Just do this, shoot a missile down at this frog, wait for these guys to get together, and then do that. Super quick. Now we have spin boost. Spin boost is dope. It's like... Very fun to use, um, similar to how a cat moves faster in the air, you move 20% faster while you're spin boosting, so you try and do it everywhere if you can. Um, other properties of spin boost that might not be obvious, when you spin boost and you shoot a missile backwards, it gives you a big old boost. And you want to shoot the missile as close to the beginning of your spin boost as possible. So basically like you're doing them at the same time and you'll get a lot of distance when you do it like that. Uh, other very important thing about it is I will show you, so we'll line up like right here so we know we're at the same starting point every time. So this is a proper spin boost. You see I got all the way to the other room. Now if you, that's with me, as soon as I spin boost I don't hold any directions. Now this is going to be me doing a spin boost and then I hold forward after I do it. You see I didn't go nearly as far. I didn't even make it to there. So this is me without holding any directions now. And essentially when you hold a direction it starts applying friction to you. So just don't hold the direction after you do the spin boost otherwise you will, you will notice yourself not going very far at all. So after we get spin boost uh, specifically do one like this and then one like this and you will land here. Um, one other property of a 
of a rocket boost is, or a back boost, I'll call them back boosts. If you hit a wall right at the start of it, you'll get more acceleration, like that. So, we do this, and then we do this. Down and then sideways, and then you have to wait like half a half a second, quarter of a second or whatever for um, yourself to, to cool down. I'm just gonna kill that frog, but after you cool down, oop. Do the down one, and then like this, side boost here, down sideways there. Now this strat is really sick. Do two quick missiles, one spin boost, and then you kind of delay the uh, the second back boost there to get the angle that you want. And here it's just another water mech. Drift down. So, okay, right there, that's one property of spin boost that you really have to keep in mind. If you spin boost up into an enemy, it's gonna boost you down instantly. It's really obnoxious. You wanna make sure you never double jump up into something, otherwise it'll slow you down a lot. So there you do a side boost into the thing, destroy those two guys, and then this rock is now gone. And the reason, there would be a squid here on top of the rock kind of in your way if you didn't destroy this rock earlier. This is just a personal strat that I like doing, but as soon as you get up, you get to destroy those two, and then you can just do this. Here we're gonna do another back boost off the wall, but it's gonna be two missiles, so... If you do it correctly, you can land right here. It's okay if you land right next to it, just jump up. And then after that, your missiles will be cooling down, so you do kind of a delayed one, and then two missiles there. And to do this, you just do... Uh, double jump and missile at the same time, basically, and you'll get a good boost there. Try and hit the wall, try and hit the wall again. I held forward there, so I didn't go nearly as far as I should have. And now, this next room has a lot of different strats you can do. This is what I do. Oh, that's not what I do. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta do my strat correctly. I can't do it right. Uh, okay, well. There we go. Now you just do two quick boosts like this. Immediate spin boost when you enter the room. Enter here. Boom. Boom, boom. Skip through this text. Quick spin boost here. One up here, and then like this. Get out, and we're gonna go for another small mech here. Now, I mentioned a property of small mech earlier, where you, when you jump up into a ceiling, uh, your head's kind of in there. And what this ends up doing is, when you have missiles, if you shoot a missile while you're up in the ceiling, it will explode instantly, allowing for insane boosts. So we're gonna be abusing that specifically throughout this this part and for the rest of the run. So if you watch, jump into the ceiling here, go down. This next boost, jump from this platform, and then when you're like at this threshold, like when you're crossing over here, you start, you do the first boost, so. That's one way to do it. That's actually was not the ideal boost that I wanted. Right there, you can get a boost like that. And then, once you walk over here, you can you can do something similar to get up to this door. Uh, it's not shooting my missiles. There we go, just like that. When you enter here, spin boost, shoot a missile down. Whoa, okay, I accidentally ledge boosted off that platform. You wanna go into this door, wall boost here. Just like that. Boom, boom. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right, so this jump specifically has a few ways you can do it. I do a, a jump, wait till, I kind of like hang in the air for a brief moment, and then I do a down boost up, and then a shot in the next transition. 
kind of like with a certain rhythm like that I'll try and show it again it's it can be a really finicky trick if you do that shot too early something like that will happen and that one you just have to practice here all right I go for I aim for this part right here with the first missile and I just do two two missiles as fast as I can like that and now we skip the starting trigger for this fight which means we can just lay into this robot as much as possible. Right after you shoot two missiles, you want to eject uh, so the missiles cool down as you eject. And we eject because we actually need to trigger the fight and to like show the game that we did it. Otherwise, when we come back, that enemy will still be there. And since we have to eject to actually activate this, this treadmill, we will not have small mech when we go back through. We would have to actually deal with the fight. Here, wait till you cool down and do two more spin boost across here. And this is like this small mech right here, we're gonna be keeping for a really, really long time. There we go. So, that wasn't good. Don't do what I just did there. So, as soon as you get small mech, do one boost here. I'm gonna do another one when you're. When you have enough for a third missile, basically. So here you hit the ceiling, do one boost here, and then do two ones like this, and you can breeze through that room really quick. Go across the top. Here, all right, so this next boost, make sure you're not in the ceiling for this one, for both boosts, otherwise you'll do this. And you'll, you'll hit the side and it's not fast. Uh, what you wanna do is something like this. You can delay the second missile, so you're not in the ceiling still, and you'll get a pretty good boost to the side still. And you go up like this. Uh, for this specific jump, it has to be at the peak of your jump. Otherwise, if you like wait even a little bit, you won't get high enough. And there we go, Aquadux is done. Do not press eject. Do not eject out of your small mech. You need this for so, so long, so. Uh, for this part, just get up here, one missile here, and then this next one, you're gonna fall off the platform, uh, try and spin boost immediately, do one missile, you're gonna wait, and then do the second missile. Like right there, so that you do not hit that wall up above that you can see there. And if you happen to land on this button, make sure you jump over this elevator, otherwise you're gonna be losing a lot of time. In this next room, uh, oh yeah, make sure you never touch this button either. Otherwise, this computer will talk to you and you don't like that. Um, this boost here, I'm not sure the exact way to do it, but you can do an insanely cool one off the ceiling. We did it perfectly right there, so that's what you want to do. If you don't get it perfectly, ah, eh, whatever, it's fine. And you just go up here like this. And now you're in heat. Do not press eject. Wait until the dialogue starts happening before you're holding eject. Or make sure you're doing it before you transition because you really just don't want to eject here. Eject here is just, it's just run over completely. Um, okay, so next room is a small cycle skip. Uh, the only real note I have for the cycle skip is you have to do your boost like as clean as you possibly can. As in, uh, as close to each other with the inputs as you can and make sure you don't hold the direction, etc. or you won't get it won't get the cycle skip. It only saves a couple of seconds anyway, but it's just something to keep in mind. Like that. So yeah, we just skipped over that one wall slightly earlier. Do one here, do one boost back, wait till you're about to cool down, do another boost back, boost up, uh, oops, boost up, another boost. Do this room again. Boost up. I don't know why I can't. Okay. Anyway, you're supposed to do a boost up like this. What is happening, bro? I cannot. There we go, like that. Just from the ground to get up here, that's all. Goodness. I'm gonna do two like that. Oh, do only one here, and then you can do this boost here to get to this door. And for this climb, uh, double jump, double jump, boost down, double jump, boost down, boost down. And in this next room, uh, you can do a really sick strat here. 
Here to go up, and two ceiling boosts. If you're really clean with it, you will get through between those two enemies without even hitting them. Uh, one thing to note is when you're doing back boosts and that, that explosion right there is in the air from this guy, uh, it'll stop you. Like, it, you'll bounce off of them, almost like it's an enemy, so just be careful of that. We're gonna heal here just to be safe. Uh, this next room, just two missiles, kind of delay them so you're not stuck in the ceiling. Down boost, side boost there. And now here's a cycle skip that actually matters. This saves like five seconds. You're gonna, you're just gonna hold left and then you're gonna do a back boost at a certain height. That's really all there is to it. If you get it correctly, you'll get the, the cycle skip. Make sure you're not holding forward and make sure you let go of jump after you do the spin boost. Don't hold jump, that'll make it a lot harder. And mess it up. So there we did it too high. And there we go. Here do two missiles and then five shots that'll kill this guy. And then do two missiles, one of them slightly delayed so he's not he doesn't have iframes during the second one. Back boost there. And then go like this. Now in this next room, just make sure you're spin boosting the whole time and you'll do it fast enough. This is what happens when you just walk in and then you go for a missile. Uh, the thing will be in your way. It's really easy to avoid, just do this. Alright, so that was really sloppy. Um, but you pretty much just do your missiles and you manage it in a certain way to destroy to destroy all of these as fast as you can. If you do overheat, it takes five shots to destroy one of these, which you saw me do. Uh, ideally, you don't have to do any shots if you um, if you manage it all correctly. So if you destroy them, go like this. You see that like this part kind of stops you. If uh, if you touch the, that ceiling right there, it kind of stops you. It's just like a, a minor thing, just to be aware of. And move on. Two boosts here. Two there. Two more. Down boost. Up. Backwards. Shoot down. And this next room is like the coolest boost in the game, so do not miss it. <laughs> Uh, and as soon as you enter, just do a triple boost, a triple ceiling boost, so, like that. And you can get, you can get directed to the door if you do it right. Now we have phase dash. Movement gets pretty intense at this point. Um, go missile dash. Essentially the whole movement is just trying to get stuff out of your way as you dash. In this next room you can do a pretty cool strat that probably looks harder than it actually is. Just dash in, double jump, dash, dash. Uh, okay, I actually messed up. You're supposed to bounce off that little flower. It's not a big deal though. And you're just gonna leave as fast as you can. Okay. Now heat's done, sweet. And we're gonna go to vents. Vents is very, very simple segment. We're gonna dash through here. Oops. In between each dash, make sure you're trying to spin boost for that little extra movement. And then again, wait wait slightly before the dialogue comes up. It won't speed up the run at all if you wait, even if you like, you can wait like a full second before you start skipping through these, these elevator dialogues because the elevator isn't even like moving yet, so it doesn't really matter that you're delaying the text. The text will finish way before the elevator, no matter what. All right, so the vents, just jump, dash, and here, it's extremely simple. Um, you're just gonna fall down, double jump, and then uh, when you double jump, it's gonna like, it's gonna ride the ceiling there and just kind of put you into the, the place you wanna be anyway, and then you just shoot some missiles to the side. And then for here, you just dash into this corner, shoot two missiles down, shoot another one. Easy peasy. Again, make sure you're not pressing eject early. I've lost runs to ejecting on this boss. Just do three missiles here and then some more when they come back up and the boss is dead. One down, one down. And then uh, you come up here 
There's a few ways you can do this part, but uh, there's a, a property of the fans where essentially they have way more momentum um, at the very start of them. Like the very base of the fan, it'll give you a huge boost up if you enter the, the airway like that. So I'll show you what I mean, like this. See how far up it brought me? Whereas like here, we're not nearly far enough up. So basically for this room, you can go like this and there you go. And this concept matters a lot more in this next room. I'll try and show you the room optimally. We're, we're pretty much trying to enter every fan, every like vent on the side of it. So we get that big boost that I'm talking about. So double jump, three missiles. And the other property of the fans is if you if you double jump and then you let go of jump and you like start falling, it'll refresh your spin boost in midair like this. So uh, we'll be abusing that too as we as we travel up. So let's we get our double jump back, land here, and then do a normal jump into this, a double jump into that. Fudge. Ay ay ay. This room is really hard to do optimally. Like. Not kidding, so... So... That is how I do that room. Just using spin boost as much as possible to enter the fans from the side. Now events is done, we are going to go do... Go get a, the decoder. Uh, this this strat's pretty cool looking. We do, oops, double jump, missile, missile, dash, missile. Uh, supposed to hit the door with that. Wow. I I don't know how I ended up accidentally hitting the button for this and then going down. You absolutely do not want to go back into the heat area. Lordy lordy. Just ignore this. This didn't happen. Anyway, let's try this again. There we go, like that. And then you enter here, you're gonna shoot the door, walk out slightly, and then dash, so that you don't get damaged by this thing in front of you. If you dash instantly, you'll get a hit from it. And then after, you can line up your dash. You wanna line up your dash so you land on this box. If you don't, you just walk through the transition, it's fine. Hit this button, and we're going to go back up to the spaceship. So, enter here, and when you're entering this one, you want to try and be on the ceiling, because there's usually a block in your way, like right there. Do a down boost, and then for this, uh, double jump here. And then just do a missile to the side, like that, with no no real inputs. Um, there we go, like that. Now this is called early decoder, and it just lets us like we're not able to enter the ship right now. This is a really simple trick. Just stand here, double jump, and then just do three missiles with no directions. And there you go. And we have the decoder. What this, what early decoder does is let us skip like a few dialogue boxes. Does not save a lot of time at all. If you are having trouble with it for, for whatever reason, you can honestly just activate the computer dialogue first if you want. Make sure you jump on this button again after you talk to the computer instead of just going on the elevator. I've done that too many times. And now we have incubator. Uh, these first two dashes, I just don't hold directions during because I have walked on this button too many times, and walking on this button is just, it's tilting, so. Like that, dash through, one, two. All right, and then once you destroy this box, dash in, do dash, double jump, dash, dash, double jump, dash, like that. Try 
Try, try and, um, if you can, for this this specific first part, dash into that like open crevice right there. So that your missile definitely destroys the stuff that's in your way. I mean, it does anyway, but it makes it a lot easier. And then you just dash through. That was not very clean, but it's okay. You just dash through that. Now we have another arena. Shoot through missiles, get out of your mech. Otherwise, you won't be tall enough to actually do these shots right here. Okay, so uh, when you come over here, you do two missiles to this guy and then do a, like a short hop and do one to the side. I just destroyed a flying enemy by doing that. And you just destroy this cannon in your way. And then after that, come over here and shoot a missile up into the side. And you'll destroy the other two flying enemies in the room. And now this last guy, he has an audio cue, listen. And then do three delayed missiles and you'll kill him. By delayed, I mean like, just don't spam them, otherwise he will be immune to one of them. And you'll have to wait for him to run back to you and it waste time. Do this room, destroy the frog. We're gonna save. This save only costs like a second, maybe, or two in a run, so... If you're not at full health, it's it's pretty worth getting it. In the next room, you're gonna do shot, double jump, go across, and there you go, like that. This next room has a couple strats you can do. There's a safe strat, and then there's a strat where you take one damage. I'll show you the safe strat. You just go like this. You wait for this guy to shoot his thing up there. Oh, I I missed one of the shots, so I ended up taking one damage anyway. And then you're gonna do two missiles and one shot to kill the last guy. Uh, I'm not gonna kill him because it would get rid of the arena completely. Um, so the bottom guys take two missiles and one shot. The top guy takes two missiles and five shots. It's just the math you need to know. So this is the faster strat. You know, missile, shot, down boost, which also hits the guy. And then you come up here like this. And there you go. Here's a really, really easy water mech. Just walk into this corner and press eject. You don't even have to do the missile or anything. You just walk into the corner and press eject and it works. And you just dash over here. Uh, we're just killing these guys so I can be safe. But you really don't have to kill any of them. Um, this next room, just walk over here. One. Oh, I messed up. So, okay. Like this, and then just one, two. Again, make sure you delay your missiles on the big guys, otherwise they'll get iframes. Park your mech here. Go like this. As soon as your shot comes out, eject from that cannon. Missile, missile. Missile to hit the door and boost. Uh, we're gonna safety save over here. Ideally, you have at least like four or five life going into this fight. Three is pretty low. So for this first part of the elevator, <clears throat> I can explain this while the dialogue's up. There's, it's gonna be three shots, and then a wave of frogs, and then two shots between each wave of frogs. So the first one is three. And then what I do is I try to get myself under as many frogs as possible with my first shot. And then I just jump over the rest of them and do two shots down to kill them. This is a really consistent way to kill them. And then for these guys, you do missile up and then dash to the side. There's three waves of two, and then there's one wave of three. Now we're gonna get these shots to the side, it's gonna be two helicopter guys. And then these other guys, you're gonna to wanna, to, when these shots hit the wall, that's my visual cue, I do a missile, slightly delay, and then two more missiles. Now all these spawns after this are completely random. And you wanna kill these wall guys if you can, because the way the, the gauntlet count, it counts the number of enemies you've killed. And there we messed up. So we did not kill the wall guy. We actually got the cycle skip in this run. This saves 15 seconds. Um, so this door appeared immediately. And if you 
if you're not fast enough killing all the enemies, then it actually just, it'll like do a full other cycle of those, those wall guys. And just, again, it'll waste 15 seconds. So this is ideal. You really want to get this, uh, this cycle skip. It's awesome that we got it. So here, this is the last sm small mic that we do. Okay. Now this room, it, you can go pretty slow in this room because there's a gate at the end of it that we have to wait for anyway. But like we messed up a bunch and still that pillar was in our way. So we didn't actually lose any time for our mistakes. All this movement is kind of self-explanatory. Um, the strat in this next room, you want to, oh, it's actually an arena, I didn't even realize that. Uh, in the next room, you're gonna dash over this first guy, and then the guy on the side, we're gonna do one missile and one shot, and you have to make sure you do it fast enough so that you can turn around and shoot this other guy that's, it. that's gonna be jumping up, and you'll see what I mean. Missile and two shots for that guy, and then three missiles for that one. So it's missile one shot, missile two shots, and then three missiles. And um, that's how you kill each one of the enemies. So in this next room, this is a really weird strat that I don't really understand completely, but basically you're gonna have this dude throw his, his arm out, and then on the way back, while it's like coming back to him, you can hit him with missiles. And you're going to want to do it in a certain cadence so he doesn't get iframes. So like this. And you activate him again. Just like that. But uh, when you enter the... He takes seven missiles to kill, not six. So for this room specifically, you activate him with one missile downwards. And then... Just like that. This room doesn't really matter how fast you go either. When the second pillar comes up, shoot a missile to open that door. Shoot one missile to activate that guy, then do a missile and a shot. And then do three missiles on him, just like before. But don't mess it up so much while you're trying to teach other people how to play a video game. And come over here, kill that air guy, and then kill this guy. And that's the arena. That arena is really difficult, so if you're struggling with it, don't worry. A lot of people do. That strat, you just dash across twice, destroy these blocks. Oh man, that's not good. Just dash through that guy at the start of this. One missile down. Two missiles on him. Wait for yourself to cool down. One missile here. Uh, okay, we're going to play this safe. If you're ever scared of this guy, you can just do this. It doesn't lose that much time. Just shoot one missile, wait till he starts walking, and then shoot the other missile. Alright. Now, this next part pretty much requires math. Like, that's all there is to it. Um, this boss is 160 life, and you want to do 159 damage to him if you can, or 155, before you actually activate the boss fight, because he doesn't trigger yet. If you kill him while he's invisible, the game will crash. So you just, you can't kill him completely. Um, what you're gonna do, you're gonna dash to right here. And if you go too far to the sides like this, you'll end up taking damage. So um, you have to shoot down to actually hit the boss. Or I can to the side or up, but we shoot down just cause it's easier. And this is what I do. I enter the room and shoot three missiles. Dash in, do seven shots, oh, he might actually die here, he sure did, oh man, whoopsie daisy, so that's what happens when you do too much damage to him, he dies. And we don't want that. So, that's at least I got to show an example of it. Oh, we have to get small mic again. So that was me just doing too much damage. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like this. And then a one, two, one, two. I do seven shots on a missile and I do that 10 times. And then I just add the other missiles to that total. Each shot only does one, each missile does five. So we just watch some dialogue there. You don't have to watch that dialogue more than once per game startup. So make sure you watch it before you do any serious runs on like another file. And here he's dead. This one we cannot really use a small max strat on. Uh, this fight is a pain in the tush. Um, when he shoots at you, it'll destroy your missiles. When he has a grenade out and the fire out, it'll destroy your missiles like before they get to him. So what you need to do is like, he follows you when you jump. He'll also jump. So you can't just do a full jump. If you do a short hop, though, he will not jump and your missiles will go above his bullets. So we're going to try and do that as much as we can here. And then you want to weave in shots too, in between your missile cooldown. And then at the end here, so this is going to be a trick called uh, Mech Escape that I didn't get. I really want to show you Mech Escape, so you have to shoot a missile and then eject as like before the missile hits him, and the missile has to cause him to go into his final phase. Oh, I didn't get it again. All right, well, oh, yeah, yeah. this is the final trick in the run, so I mean, I'm just going to reload until I get it. And you can see some examples of Gary fights along the way. This is honestly not a very easy fight to do fast, so. Okay, we got Mech Escape. It's not in, a, in an ideal place at all, but we did get it. You want, you want your mech to be to the, as far to the right as you can get it. Oh man, I think I'm too far to the side and we're gonna soft walk. This is a disaster. <laughs> All right, so you have control of your cat during that part. And if you go too far to the right, we'll see if we did. Basically Baxter won't see you and, oh, perfect. If he doesn't see you, he just starts running to the left and the game never ends. But we're apparently in like the perfect spot for it. So it's okay. So Baxter immediately talks to us, runs to the right, and now since we have this mech here, we just get into it. And there we go. We run to the, oh, we go to the end, shoot three missiles down. Boom. And that is the run. Um, RTA stops as soon as you enter the spaceship, if you happen to be using live sweat or anything, and then you just wait for this in-game time up here. If you have any questions, you should definitely stop by the Discord. Everyone is extremely helpful, and would love to see you run the game. Uh, yeah, that's got him.